if the cop sees you or near skating, I'm not gonna say shit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. but there's no, there's no street code. Okay. Well, when's the last time you jumped on a street hubba? I don't quite remember. <laughs> Well, oh. today's the day. <laughs> yeah, today's the day. Yeah. So uh, this week's episode, we're at this uh, lip slide that I did in the in the end. It was uh, it was my ender. And um, you know, driving down here. Dan that's filming this and uh, whatever pin drop that he had, I was like, when I saw it, I'm like, oh, it doesn't look familiar to me. So when we went looking for this spot, it took us to a different area. And I'm like, oh, I think it's over here in this area, like more east of where I thought it was. Because it was actually near Cafe, my um, my first uh, barber skate shop. And it was literally like five minutes away. And so, yeah, we, uh, we're here at the spot. And... I'm, uh, you know, truly blown away looking at this, thinking like, I actually did this. <laughs> and back back then, um, uh, I definitely this wasn't my work of doing any kind of bondo, so I took it as it as it was. I I remember actually uh, the day before, I'm like Dan, I think I think I remember there was a, a big crack, <laughs> and Dan's like, oh yeah, when the last time I went there, there was a big crack, and there it is, there's the crack. <laughs> Get filled in. So the, the the process when I was doing it, like I would ollie, and then get comfortable landing like right here. So I think the first time, I'm pretty sure the first time was when I would get in. It was hard for me to stay in. I would just keep bailing. So when um, I didn't make it the first time. So once I figured out like to stay within the inside this way, that's when we were all good. Because the way it, uh, you can see the angle of the, the sidewalk rolling up to it, it'll, it'll make you just go this way. So you had to stay inside on the right side. So warming up to, to do this lip side, this is something that I, uh, that I did was stand up exactly right here and then just edge over and then get the slide and until I felt really comfortable, then I'd go up and, and start going for it. And it worked out. You know, on the tries, I don't really quite remember. But I, I don't think we were here that long. Maybe half hour, 45 minutes. Yeah. I mean, I wish we were filming like the behind the scenes stuff back then. But we were. But I think what, once I felt really comfortable getting on it, I was home free. Like I, I knew that it, it was going to happen. Lip sides were, was one of those chicks that um, I definitely uh, had dialed in, and uh, I uh, I didn't have a doubt that I couldn't do it. I I just I had the confidence that like, okay, this is something that I could do. I feel like if I were to try a, a board side, because you the way you land on the board side, I feel like it wouldn't have worked. The lip side just seemed more natural the way board goes in. It just fits perfect. Attempting this, I remember I would ollie over it. I'd keep ollieing over it. And then eventually it'd be like ollie and then feel it like get on it and bail right this way. That's That was like the, the process of, of doing this. And then eventually it was like, okay, I'm comfortable landing on this. So, you know, Thank God again, like I did not stick anywhere or like land all crazy and then get, I, uh, I never pitched forward and fell on my face or anything. Uh, I remember, I think it was two weeks before deadline or something like that. I shot a photo with uh, Grant Britton, which was ran in the, uh, in Transworld. I think it might've been a two page spread. I, I didn't make it in that photo. And then it was, you know, deadline was coming up. And we went back here and uh, I got it with, with Jamie and, you know, uh, I made the lip side and you could see Jamie kind of zooming right or I was coming towards the camera and you see it, me smiling like I was really happy that I made that. 
And um, yeah, it's just, uh, it's really crazy to see this spot again. I, I think the last time I was really here was when I did it. And it was like 24 years ago. I know, I think there, there were some other people that have 50 50 did it, but I think I may have been the first person to do anything on it. And it was that website. Yeah. I don't even remember waxing. <laughs> Seriously. I, don't. I mean, I bet that would have helped, but uh, yeah, I definitely do not remember bringing wax. And I think in the footage, it, w it wasn't even painted, right? Yeah. And uh, folks, I, I wasn't using rails then too. Uh, my buddy Mike Reyes and I, we had the, the skate shop that's like literally five minutes away from the old Barber skate shop. Uh, I think one of the locals was like, hey, there's a spot near here. I think originally, uh, before the lip side, I was skating the, I think, four or five stair kink up there. And I did uh, a nose side first. I think a Tiba shot a photo. It might have been like a band's uh, poster. And then in, in um, and it was also in one of the transfer videos. And then for the birdhouse, the end, I did a nose side shuttle. And when we first got here, we, uh, Dan and I walked up there. And I'm like, man, I don't remember doing the nose side with the kink rail. And then we had to look at the footage and it was there. <laughs> It's like someone else did it. <laughs> Could do a backside lip side or even a tail side. Um, yeah, I, I think there's still a lot that could still be done. It's just like, uh, just gotta go for it. Yeah. I mean, shoot, you could actually 50 50 that way. Yeah, when I made it, I think um, it was just Jamie Mouseberg that filmed it and, and me. I, I don't think, I don't remember having friends around when I, when I made it. Yeah. But it was definitely like the ender of my part and it was becoming the, the deadline of the video. So this was the last trick that I filmed. Oh gosh, look at that. There's even a, some cement. I kind of gouged out. I don't remember that. <laughs> so here we are on the um, the kink rail ledge, and um, looking at it, and like it actually looks scarier for me thinking that I no slid this over the lip slide. Because <laughs> we, we were we were watching the footage, and um, I don't know, maybe the nose is bigger, but. It's pretty much the same kind of shape, but like you'll you'll see that when I'm no siding, I'm actually like up like this, and you see the rails lower. Yeah, then I do a shove it out. But it looks it looks like uh, someone bondled it here too, or probably the same person that did the the double set as well. Yeah, that, uh, this right here, it was, I, di I did the nose side first, and then I was thinking like, oh, I should do something for for my part in, in the end, and I was like, oh, I could, uh, I'll, I'll shove it out, which which I did, but the the shove it in front of me, that's not something that I normally do. I mean, I, I think if, I, if it was an easier nose side, I would have done the big spin one, but it worked out the other way, so, yeah. As, as far as it being the ender, I don't think I really thought of it being the ender, but it was like the last trick that I filmed, so I guess that kind of felt like this would be the ender. But yeah, stoked that the came out of this uh, scotch-free. <laughs> scotch-free or scotch -free? Uh, Yeah. <laughs> scotch <laughs>